OK, so let's say we want to integrate e to the kx. OK, so e to the 2x, e to the 3x, e to the 4x, etc. Now we know that when we differentiate e to the kx, OK, so when we want to differentiate that, then we have the coefficient of the x, the k, comes to the front, and we just have e to the kx. Now, that's a result from the chain rule for differentiation, OK? And in, um, for AS maths as well, this is a result that we need to be aware of. Now, when we're integrating, obviously, we need to get ourselves back and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to divide through by that k in order to do it, okay, to reverse engineer this process. So when we integrate, we would need to have this 1 over k e to the kx. We need that 1 over k as a coefficient of the e to the kx in order so that when I differentiate this, I get back to that plus I'd have that constant of integration c. So when I differentiate this, I should return to that there, the e to the kx. So the c will differentiate to 0. That's gone. Now the k, the coefficient of the x, will come down to the front and will multiply with the 1 over k, which makes 1. So I will, if I differentiate that, I should and will return to e to the kx. So this is the integral of e to the kx.